Hello, everybody. We are back at it again with Levy Strange Double Exposure. Um, I'm about to sneeze. Ooh, I am yawning everywhere again. I'm back at it. I decided to record this Moses bit. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. Pretty much. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I... I've already forgotten. Mm. I was gonna say, uh, a couple hours later is when I'm recording this, so... We're still, you know, same clothing. Everything's still fresh. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. Yeah. Italian horror. You just gotta be Italian. That's it. I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? Poor Max, man. The high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but... You'd be wrong. Thank you, Max. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. Hmm. That's scary. If I'm going to see Amanda, I should put on something vaguely human-like. Come on, pajamas. They're classic. Oh, you're stuck with the same? I'll keep it regular. I, I really just like the regular outfit, I'm be real. Like the other ones I don't I don't have access to, but now to take care of downstairs. Come on. Let's check out my computer. Am I recording? Didn't make sure if I was okay. We are. We are in fact recording. I can't begin to imagine how hard this can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write let alone to keep that professional tone all the way through to your Kaladin community as your university president I write to inform you that in light of her recent of the recent passing of one of our really beloved Kaladin students classes and playing special events will be canceled until further notice this is a difficult decision I know many of you are looking forward to the end of term activities for which our campus is famous and I hope you understand my reasons for doing so. Losing one of our own, whom a number of you knew personally, is not easy. And I want to assure you that grief counselors will be available to you at no cost, should you feel the need. Thank you for your understanding during this trying time. Cardially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here. And I owe it to her to make time, should she need it. Yeah. Hello, Maxine. I hope you can forgive me for the more formal tone in my earlier email to faculty, staff, and students. These have been some of the hardest days of my life, and if I'm being completely honest, I feel like I'm adrift. It's a wonder I'm holding it together at all. I know you and a few others were very close with Sophia, and I pray you understand if I reach out to lean on, reach out to you or lean on you for some support in the coming days. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayette. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Losing a close friend. Losing a loved one is among the most heartbreaking things we can experience, but it's important to know that the loss of a close friend can often be just as overwhelming. A true friend can feel like family in their absence, and the grief that comes with it deserves the fullness of your care and consideration. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house. Fair. Don't mind me eating. Got a little hungry. <laughs> So I made some mac and cheese. An album probably makes more sense, but I didn't say it again, Max. An album probably makes more sense, but don't hate waking up to these every morning. Yeah, I wish Chloe was. I hope Chloe's in the game. I hope. A little run. It's so cute. Police card. A Lakeport cop investigating Sophie's death. Safi's murder. She kept Moses and I for questioning for hours and hours. You were the one to find her. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Nice place, though, for me. The dark room. <laughs> yeah. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. Hot sauce. Thank you, hot sauce. 
You're the only pick me up I've had the last day and change. Espresso. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. Found the peanut butter. Mmm. Grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. That's so true though. Sometimes I'll just get really lazy and just have peanut butter. Coffee. Chunky peanut butter. The Moses the turtle, she was sappy. Grocery shopping was sappy. I wonder if they lived together here. Probably not if she had the to-do list, actually. Actually, I'm, I'm curious. I want to go check out the dark room. I want to see what the fuck's going on. I haven't been down to the dark room in a minute. It's can dark I? enough up here lately. I can just, I can just go down. No load times. Excuse me. I'm so used to Life is Strange. This isn't Life is Strange at all. Hmm. There's got to be something that you actually do down here as well. Like, they wouldn't just the put original some... award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. Oh, yeah. Shutterbud420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. Yeah? Digital camera. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. Yeah. Very old stickler. Oh, look at the little... Arrest develop. Okay. Max's little animations are kind of cute. Which one? Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an international photography award and a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Safi got me the frame. A bird is very familiar. Wooden sculpture. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. It's true. Anime DP. Moses loves this. I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months, and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. Jeez. That's very funny, though. I can eat. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi-permanent address, I renewed my subscription. <laughs> Ooh, a massive pl Legend has it Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. <laughs> Do I get to water this, like in the original, so that I don't kill it? Polaroid. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. Neb hater. Found all the pictures, got no more for it. Painting. Hmm. Wonder who that is. Nessie Cavachari. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two ply monument to my sadness today. I may get panned as schlock, but. The Brain Bucket Saga is my break glass in case of depression go-to. Yeah, buddy? Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. It's a really nice layout, too. Bowling alley mask. It's been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. Mr. Mascot. How sad is it that this goofy-ass thing reminds me of Safi? Yeah, but that's so creepy. It's so sweet, though. Memories box? One of the last things I got from Chloe. It wasn't an invitation. Oh. Even years later, this still sucks to read. You always did know how to make every word count, didn't you? 
I don't want to read this. Hey, Max, I started writing this in St. Louis, hence the big fucking arc on the postcard. I'm sending it from Tennessee because it took that long to figure out what I wanted to say. When we were teens, I thought being able to rewind time was the coolest shit in the world, and I guess it was for a while. Problem is, the more often you go back in time, the less often you're looking forward. I wanted to look forward to move forward with you, Max. A new future we couldn't predict and all the messiness that brings. Eventually, I knew as much as it hurt that you would never be able to do that. Not with me, at least. I love you, Max. I will always be true. I hope you find someone you no longer feel the need to rewind for and can look forward unafraid. Man. Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Just like that. Oh my god, the diner. All because of me. In a meteorological turn of events that's baffled climate scientists from both NOAA and NASA, an impossibly rare west coast tornado wiped the town of Arcadia Bay, Oregon completely off the map. So our planet warms, these same scientists warn that the so-called freak weather events like this will become all too common. That Chloe thing hurt, man. The journal! I don't know what day it is, I only know it's night because you're sleeping in the bed next to me. Motel blackout shades are no fucking joke. I don't know where we are, I don't even know if we went north or south. Grabbed a new journal from a souvenir shop, but when I tried to look at the calendar, it was like all the dates ran together. So I'm going to save your family and now they're dead. Please don't hate me, please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. If I wanted to just get in the driver's seat and point to the ocean, I wonder if you would stop me. Okay, Michigan in October, really fucking cold. Someone once told me that you can get hypothermia from swimming in Lake Superior, even in the summer. I don't know if that's actually true, but looking at how blue and deep it is, I'd believe it. You said Lake Superior, more like Lake Disappointing that you bitched at me about your feet being cold all evening. You put on two of my sweaters and look like a sweater burrito. I want to inform the court that I happened to go to SoCal because you insisted on the Upper Peninsula. It's okay, I know that LA was going to be yours and Rachel's place. I wish she was alive to be here with us. Damn, I miss Rachel. Max, gel pens, man, this is 10th grade. We could just talk with our mouths. Fuck no, this is dope. It came all this way to write back and forth to each other like we're passing notes in school. Okay, if this is so boring, why don't you go talk to that guy at the counter who keeps checking you out? Lamau, no, it'll be funny. I'll definitely think he's getting a two for one deal. Chloe, oh my god, we'd rock this world. I hate his beard. We'd make him shave it first, and obviously we'll kill him in the morning. What? Why? Because you're mine, bitch. It's cute. You think I haven't moved on? You're saying that I'm the one who has to let go of the past? You're the one who can't even sit foot in any cities you plan to see with Rachel? Is it so wrong to not want to talk about the thousands of people who died because of me? You say that you don't blame me for choosing you over them, but I know you do. I'm the reason you'll never see your mom again. You keep saying I can't torture myself like this, but if I don't, who will? Say you want to travel by yourself from now on? Fine, me too. Fuck you, Chloe. This book is so dusty. I found it after two days of looking. This is what I get for keeping my shit in storage. A letter from Kaladin made me think about school, which made me think about you, which made me think about this book. When I met Yasmin Fayette at my show in Boston, I had no idea she was the president of a prestigious liberal arts college. She was just some hot older lady who seemed to really want to be my friend. The artist in residence lodgings were described as a cottage in the onboarding materials, but it's the size of my last three apartments combined. It'd be a great place to bring friends over if I had any. Your story. Picture it. I'm sitting in President Feed's Fayed's office on my first day, and, and this comes in this girl in acid wash jeans and a dulce and gob on a jacket. She says hi to me like we've been friends for years, reaches over to the present deck, snags her keys, and announces she's taking the car and her too. We went and got ice cream in her mom's Porsche. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. She's Yasmin Fayed's daughter. Safi Lillowellen Fayed. A grad student at Caledon. She declared Rocky Road the best ice cream of all time and told me the jeans were an experiment that wasn't really working. That was almost a month ago. And I see her almost every day now. We're friends, I guess. It's been a while. Did I mention that part of the Caledon artist-in-residence deal is seminars, like teaching lectures and students coming to them and learning in a hall with slides? <laughs> I just looked at the right page. I tried to yell as mean that I didn't have any teaching experience, but what was I supposed to say? Sorry, my only photography class was the two months in senior year. I was infatuated with a hot teacher and turned out to be a psychotic pervert, murderer, kidnapped me, and I was like, burger. I can't even get their lesson plan without thinking about Jefferson. Despite that, people seem to like the seminars. There's a, lot of, there's a couple of students in particular that I think have a lot of potential. Is this a teacher emotion? Sophie's always encouraging me to do normal people stuff, and today it panned out. Because I got a date, motherfuckers! 
It's a little scary to have seen Amanda make a guy cry and give him a free beer after, but we clicked. Hard, I think. Hard, I think. Safi did ask about you earlier, but I sidestepped that convo like a wild bear. So, sh okay. I wasn't um, up to explaining how I leveled my hometown. I have a feeling she'll bring it up again. Not again, not again, not again. Poor Max. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. I'm chowing down here as fast as I can. <laughs> oh, better clean those up too. Choice. Oh, Joyce, we lost you in the storm. Chloe never really looked at me the same after she found out. Born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. Banff National Park did not disappoint. Ma'am, I miss Chloe. Better get these tidied up too. Before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Somewhere I put the speaker? Or do I just hold on? I'm here. Not sure if the doorbell works. What's up, Amanda? Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. You're doing dramatic goth kid grief. <laughs> go big or go home, I always say. Oh. She's really gone, Amanda. Selfie was here two days ago. And now I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to? I mean, she was just. <sighs> Thank you for looking out for me. I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. True. I'll begrudgingly admit it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by... Demolishing an entire pizza solo. That is so true, though, Amanda. You fucking you just wait till you I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. Uh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wowzers. You must not have heard it before. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. Oh, <laughs> so you're just gonna tweet through it then? I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. <laughs> you need to eat, Max. Sure. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. I love the facial expressions of this game so far. I think they've got it really down. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. <laughs> friend? 
Yeah. We... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. It's fair. <sighs> she, she makes a point. I can't disagree. You know... You're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. Now, how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Shoot. Show me your goofy side. <laughs> nice. Serious. How about you give me something stoic? Hmm. Supermodel. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> no, go back to silly. Actually, let's try the silly face again. Yeah, she does the... That's pretty cool. Hold up. Let me let me get that middle finger. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Faces someone in an achievement today with some homemade grub. How about another one? Different pose this time. Ooh. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. You doing okay? How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. True. I feel so bad for her. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Chloe's dead. It's mm. close enough. Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. It's what you do. Hmm. She's so sweet. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Thank you, Amanda. She, she's a real one. Is that a cowboy hat? 
No, wait a damn minute. Max, get out the cowboy hat. More like a rancher's hat, though. What are we doing on time rate? 25 minutes. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. This place is pretty cool. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. <clears throat> Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. It's nice to see that parts of Max's character is still there, you know, it's cute. Oh. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. He's hitting the death! <laughs> Graffiti Rock looks so... naked. Well, I'll, ch I'll check out what's wrong with Reggie in a second. I like checking everything else first. Dynamic sculpture. This piece must weigh a ton, but it's barely touching the ground. True. That has to be an optional picture. Hold up. Campus map. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. I can't. Emergency phone? These damn things are all over campus. Except where Safi actually needed one. Damn. Yeah, Max taking it hard. I, I kind of would be like this too, you know? It's just... Hmm? Are you Loretta? Who's Loretta? Loretta! That's Loretta... Something. Seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Doesn't look like she's getting the scoop she wanted. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Somebody was murdered. She's gone. This feels so surreal. The thing is, Thomas, pondering what might be will drive you insane. School that teaches art without science, or indeed science without art, can only deal in half-truths in the same way one cannot understand the darkness without first having been dazzled by the light. One cannot access the intricacies of what it is without first wondering what, pondering what might be. Finals postponed, please lock down. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us. True. Counseling play. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? Yeah? No turtle for me. Okay. It'll look bad if Yasmin finds out I'm putting her off. I'm guessing each of these leads somewhere? That guy has to be an optional picture. Come on. Come on! Snow David. Hang in there, David. Who's David? Is he just called that? What? Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi, too. Also known as a Japanese cherry soccer tree. Cherry blossom trees do not yield cherries for eating, but instead produce beautiful pink flowers. They typically bloom from March to April in the Northern Hemisphere. Cherry blossom is the national flower of Japan. To remember Maya Okada. Hmm. He used to have a hat and a scarf, and now it's gone. Oh, excuse me. 
I guess no optional pictures. Ooh. Romantic sketch, sculpture. So, how'd you do me? The dating apps? Producer? Hmm. Alright. Let's see what's up with. Fort Frosty was all anybody talked about last week. No one's really in the mood for snowballs anymore. Puzzle box. Shit's all yours if you want it. Yeah. What's up, Reg? I all know. Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Softy. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. Skip my workshop. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personal. Yeah. You saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. Mm. It was rough. But it was honest. You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. What's this puzzle box? So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? <laughs> Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key of Braxis virtue. <laughs> the eye for detail. Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? Just break it open. Okay. This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. I don't like that I move it and it moves it at a weird angle. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that wax around it? Hmm. Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah. Why? What are you thinking? Sir. <laughs> Set that bitch on fire. No shit. <laughs> okay. Ooh. An yeah. eye for detail, huh? An eye for detail, huh? Well, where is Mr. Calder? Place the bird. And? How did that work? A second test. Oof. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really? Good riddance. Mm. Do I get to solve that in my own time, or...? All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. What's up, Reg? Reggie's a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good kid. Reminds me of a few old friends. Yeah. Is this one of the collectibles? No. An abstract. This kind of art isn't really my thing. Unless it's the subject of a photo. Fair enough. Well, time to hit a memorial flyer. Safi's murder brought the whole campus to a standstill. It touched everybody. Join us on December 16th, 7 p.m. in the Turner Chapel to honor a member of church, member of our community. So let us enter the building. Throw my food away because somebody's touched. Oh, 
Okay. Yasmin's office is down the hall. All right on the sucky board. What am I gonna put though? Place won't be the same without you. Were greatly loved and deeply inspired. Thank you for everything. You just put it back without the cap off? Max, what kind of psychopath are you? We didn't have long together, but in a short time you changed me as an artist and as a person. Thanks for the friendship and the memory. Who is this for, anyway? What I want to say is between me and Sophie. Oh god, I'm gonna have to, have to find my way. Is this, am I in the right area? Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Coffee stuff. Really giving me expensive car dealership vibes. Magazine. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. <laughs> I like that Max is still trying to keep up the humor thing. What's up, Ben? Howdy, Ben. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare mm. she use her phone without your permission? <laughs> you think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Uh, listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Yeah. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all going to miss her. Hmm. Kind of issues. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little <laughs> jealous, actually. <laughs> See, there you go, Max. I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Yeah? Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. We'll give her a shot. Can you actually so okay? I thought you could actually sit there and wait. Close for the holiday. What was in a pretty penny in the middle of Vermont winter? The one thing all visual art has in common. Light. That's a good point. It's that Jefferson guy again. Hi, Gwen. Gwen? All good? Uh, Max. I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? Man, hug away! World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, 
I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. <laughs> That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the uh, breaking and entering queen, right? <laughs> Think you can get past this lock? I've been known to be. So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? <laughs> Bad reputation, twins? <laughs> Boom. Bad reputation, twins. <laughs> I like Gwen. I like the characters. They're all really. They're all really this funny. This puppy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. I'm on shelf 12. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Member of Kaladin University's first co-ed class, Gretchen pioneered the Kaladin Women's Equality League, the Kaladin Caller, and other initiatives that continue making Kaladin a great place for students to this day. Okay, come on. Two feet there, guys. Good moment a little bit. Fireplace. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. It's a good point. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. And for obvious reasons, now I don't think there will be. Speaking just for me. Nothing makes you feel alone. Like a chair made for two. I've never seen these before. That is... I quite like that, though. I think that's interesting. It's, it's a novel. Little, little thing. Girls with sharp... Is it girls with sharp objects? Is that a, is that a real book? That sounds familiar. Students, faculty, staff... Maya Okada. Her name was on the plaque for that tree outside. I wonder who she was. I did come all this way to turn back now. I, this is definitely easier than breaking into the case. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be there again. Here you go, Gwen. Gwen? I uh, found another copy of your book in the stacks. Will that work instead? Oh, uh, thanks, Max. It's just, uh, well, it's just the one in the case is a 10th anniversary edition. It has a new introduction from the author hey you need the one in the case you got it <laughs> expensive display cheap lock you love to see it anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick definitely that pin looks like the right size for gwen's lock but it needs more of a curve in it it's gotta be something no. Faculty release. These are all by current or former faculty? Now I feel like a slacker. Hmm. I really hope that this item isn't here, though. Because I really want to explore new areas, too. I guess, I guess not. Unless it's in the post office. Scissors. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Why not? Aha. Vin probably has something to no, I don't intend to the fine arts building. He's probably got something in here. Magazines wouldn't work. Spoon. Aha. 
I'm gonna do this first. Sean away, and probably if I give Ben his thing, she'll be done. Don't worry, Gwen, watch this. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. That's true. It's the book. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? He proceeded. I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. A legacy, you know. Yeah. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. I like Gwen. I like her character. Also, I love her tattoo. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and... I'll find you when I'm done? I can do that. Thank you, Moses. Don't go in yet. I have a thing to do. No! I... I didn't know... I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Police are used. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? Family's like that. No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well... Not Safi. Not always. Yeah, there you go. I was about to say. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. There was no gun. Maxine, you and Sofia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? No. Sofia would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. 
That's what I believe as well. I don't like that, that that's going to have consequences. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. You never know. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Man. Shit's sad as fuck. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Sofia for the memorial mm -hmm. materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Sophie? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. I... Thank you for saying so. It's alright, Aaron. Go ahead. No, it's an important meeting. We shouldn't push it. Of course, just reach out to Vin. I'll tell him to make time soon. We should set a time to do more thorough preparations as well. I'm just curious to see if there's something... The board is always trying to catch me on my back foot. Okay. Yasmin got to see Sophie's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. Shit drafts, August to October. Mom, take a look if you get the chance. No rush, just messing around, trying to get a fix on my feelings. Let me know what you think. Love ya. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. <laughs> Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. It's cool to see Max being a teacher this time around versus... Signed, student. Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible, but it's a good thing she kept her day job. I mean, there's a painting canvas in my or in my dorm, so um, Yasmin was I so that proud was of Sophie. My Sophie photos. Sophie loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Sophie knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dark. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. I think that one's the best. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. I, I would be too if I was there. I have his package. Can I go give his package to him? No. Feels weird, but... I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fact. Yeah, I already grabbed it. Here you go. Saved you the trip. What's this? Don't tell me we're becoming friends. <laughs> More than... Settle down. All right, settle down. You just... Caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? Mm. What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but you'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Oh, there we go. Gave the package for Vin. The male gaze. And...
How much time have we got? 55 minutes. Probably get through this next little section here. Probably just talk with Moses if I'm thinking it's going to take as long as it will. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. Probably. Not been out for a hot minute. Right, there's doors to leave, but I don't need to. Hello again, Gwen. I told you. Don't contact me on this phone. And text only, no calls. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh Loretta. Jeez. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Mm. You got me. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Mm. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? Mm. I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. Hmm. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick sound bite for my podcast. <laughs> sure. I guess that's fine. Let's see. I'm gonna move this a little what bit. What do you need? Aim it a Just little bit for so background. I can actually see. You were close friends with Safi Willow and Fayette. Oh. Um. Yeah, I was. Yeah, we're. We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. Really, Loretta? I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. Oh, you're fucking you're bluff. bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Mm. Oh shit! Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Ah! Beat it. Yes, Gwen. Yes. That's so real. What a little shit. <laughs> but she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I was listening. You seemed upset earlier. I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. What? Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Ooh. Anything else want to go wrong today? I might as well pack it all in at once. Damn. I thought we was chill, Gwen. So can I literally just... Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. Damn. No. Stories? More like rumors. Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. Too little, too late. And I thought no. Amanda couldn't get any cuter. Second annual Champlain Comedy Festival. Aiden J, Amanda Thomas, Lily Singing Hawk, HTT Tompkins, more to be announced. Presented by the Snapping Turtle. Hmm. 
If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. Remember break-ins happening across Lakeport. Please be vigilant. Hmm. Ooh. Something's on the floor. A letter. Oh, hello there. Which mailbox did you fall out of? Yeah. Looks like somebody's been passing notes in class. Ugh. Of course the sender doesn't put a name on it. Completed your assignment and returned the book according to your instructions, but a work study kid in the library took my answers by mistake and I don't think I can get them back. I'll redo the work for you, but I'm nervous someone else might find my answers. I don't know what to do. I guess I heard they over. I overheard the librarians were struggling a little bit. They're calling in some state guys, so I had some. Hmm. Okay. Who are you, DGH? Gwen Hunter, PhD. Dr. Gwen Hunter, yeah. DGH. Wait a sec. This is about that book that got moved to the display case. Hmm. So the book Gwen needed had a message inside it. It's not mine to keep. But it is really. I don't. Uh, more than Come on, Max. You don't do this kind of thing anymore. Not my business. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. Probably has. I've been fucking dilly dallying. Now I see my objective again. In case I forget. Y T G H A B C C. C is the, C is the magic number. Roses. I wonder if the game. Uh, I hope you like the road. Of course, nothing can happen on campus without some kind of a Braxis commentary. It's just the Vortex Club all over again. What is Lucas's room? You know, Glenn, I thought we were cool. Big ass office too. Holy shit. Moses seemed. You don't, I guess. But it's down to just us and our assassins. If we could wonder twins this shit, we could clean up. Right. She is not God. We could win the cash prize. That's the idea. Five hundred American dollars, two fifty each. You know, despite that art prankster at large. I think this one is actually right side up. Amazing. Like most places, Lakeport is a lot more complicated than it appears. Old member of an old band of the Kuski Avanaki Nation, which would be for a new age. It's media. Oh, skull. May we all one day aspire to be as happy as a burgeoning goth kid with his first skull balloon. Amanda paint? All right. Clearly, I'm not the only artist on this campus with Amanda on the brain. Mm -hmm. So, scratch marks? You mean like from talons? Big, scary talons? Come on, I never said that. Like mm -hmm. Mothman? Aren't you in your cryptids? Well, I'm not hearing any better explanations. Hey, ma'am. Sky cat attacks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Coffee for when you lose your will to live. So I've heard with some Moses. I don't even know where to start. Sorry that I didn't call you. 
Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. Oh yeah, Max, you tell him. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? We couldn't have known. Don't, don't torture yourself. Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. It's true, Max. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. I'm gonna be real, this music in the background sounds so Life is Strange. That was, that was really good. Bro, brought me back there for a minute in the, in the parts that you could hear it. It's getting darker. Where are we at now, actually? You're an hour and six. We'll see, see how much longer this bit is. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Really, dude? Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I don't like this guy. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't blame him. I gotta say it. Maybe Who it's knows? True. Maybe he had a breakthrough or something. You know, like he was visited one night by three ghosts who showed him <laughs> the error of his ways. That's at least a six ghost two night job. <laughs> Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Yeah. Feels like they're trying to uh, introduce who the Lucas killer is. Gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up, or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. Yeah, come on. He said that's good. Uh, appreciate you taking care of my package. It can be temperamental and wrong. See? It feels like they're trying to get us to think who the killer is. Let's keep it friendly. you do the same for me. Would I, though? You wouldn't, then you expect some kind of payment to be named Double later. Double entendres can't be his whole personality. Imagine doing something for someone and not expecting anything. Couldn't be me. Don't think I'll forget you trying to base me from Dr. Hunter anytime, Miss Caulfield. A threat? Perished the thought this was simply an innocent. This kid, I swear to God. Good my memory. He's something. Anything really on Crosswalk, Loretta? Reporting on those details. 
Who knew her? My DMs are open. And a comedy. It's really nice to have something small to laugh at, actually. Okay, we're right at 10 30. Usually, it's breakfast. I don't know what it said, Brian. We ride when we ride. Start the accurate, I'm sure. I draw some catch my breath. A receding shadow lurks in the periphery, beyond the overgrown grass. Moses? Face it. Here if you need Thank anything. You. Moses? <coughs> Moses, where the fuck did you go? Where did Moses head to? Literally what I'm wondering. Okay, well that's closed. Maybe the turtle? Oh, that's Moses. I was like... No, I won't. I won't fuck with Lucas. It's not needed. It's weird. Nobody here saw her. It's just you and me. I feel so disconnected from all of them. It's different, doesn't it? Hey. I have a question about Sophie. Okay. How did you meet her? How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Sophie was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a bin for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Is this bench special? What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm not. Let's be real. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. Okay. I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactics. Moses? We're finally getting into the mechanic of the game. It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right card. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. Hmm. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? Press How E do I to bring pulse. Okay. Objector. That's what the 
Interesting that it's a range. Oh. I guess I gotta... That was weird. We're seeing people in the actual world blue. The walking for this Moses is a little awkward. What are you doing, Moses? Hey, you're gonna keep going. I'm gonna see if I can interrupt. Hello? No. Okay. I'm so scared. Oh, yeah. yeah, there we go. I caught you. You should be able to make it to the front. Am I gonna have to follow him through this whole thing? Happening. This is real. Probably afraid you're trying to obey your guard. Oh my god, dude, it's good. Mm -hmm. Am I following Moses or it's too cold for this. That really was Safi, I think. I have to get to her. Find a way to talk to Safi. Just hear me like I can hear her. I'm right here. Sophie, I'm right here, right in front of you. Two hands. I got pizza rolls in my office. Persecution. Freeze to death. <laughs> hmm. What is going on? Okay. What happened to Chloe? Chloe lived. Chloe is grateful to be alive, but the past still haunts you both. Ask Amanda's friends. 72%. Amanda's excited to pursue a romantic relationship with you. 75% called the red on her bluff. I heard it feels vindictive that you called her bluff. 
Vine in spaces. Max likes empty spaces for potential. Oh, I didn't know that was choice. Bowling alley plushie. Max stole a bowling alley plushie. Max and Chloe were just friends. 26%. Yeah. Pickup line. Max used Sophie's pickup line. And succeeded. I knew that hers was the only one that was going to work. Art pranks. Okay. I flipped all of them. Mug choice. 52%. Trust the nerdy and dirty mug. Uh, rooftop. The rooftop moment of reflection. Max reflected on the observatory. Which one was that? I don't remember that, actually. Bottle cap game. Max won the bottle cap game. 45%. Photo wall. Max left her photo wall as it was. Huh. I wonder how you do that one. I guess it's... Oh, I guess if Chloe's not alive. I guess. I don't know. Coffee shop moment of reflection. Max did not reflect at the coffee shop. Oh, I didn't even notice that. 50-50. Moses hot chocolate. Max didn't break. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Sophie's cause of death. Max told Yasmin there's no way that Sophie took her own life. Choosing Sophie's more and more photo. Chose the passionate photo. Max spoke at the memorial, refused. Max didn't engage with the memorial. 91% solved the first layer. Didn't solve it. Didn't even find 8%. Well, everyone. That is the first chapter of Life is Strange Double Exposure. That certainly was something. Um, I like all the new characters, except Gwen. She's kind of, she's kind of mean to me. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about Chloe and Max falling apart like that. You know, I, I think it's interesting and it adds something, but I just don't like. It's a personal thing, not like an actual like objective how I'm looking at it. I like the new characters. I like Safi. I like, I like Moses a lot. I think Amanda's pretty cool. Um, it feels weird that they're trying to. Well, not trying to. It feels weird that there's so many early options for romance. Like, we're, we just started a game. And I've read that there's five chapters, like how Life is Strange, the first game was, and a lot of the other games. But no, I... I had how long was that, actually? Only the same. So it was around three-ish hours, give or take. I didn't read exactly everything, so probably, probably around three hours. Um, but yeah. We... I'm saying we. I don't know. I'm processing everything. Max has new powers. Those are going to be interesting to look at a little bit more. Um, yeah. So these two will be getting up probably days after each other. Something like that. I'll figure it out. Um, I don't know why I didn't say this in the first one. Um, but I'll probably be doing it like that. I'll probably split them in half to make it a little easier um, to digest. Because... You know, I, I usually just record the whole thing, but I, I think it'd make it easier, a little more digestible this way. Um, but thank you all for watching, uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!